Hello, Paddy. Hello, William. Merry Christmas. That was very. That wasn't your normal. That was like. Hello, Paddy. That was my minister voice. Hello, uh, Patrick. It, it was like, yeah, because you normally are nicer to me. It was like fucking nasty. I'm auditioning for the PSNI. Uh, <laughs> well, you're fucking. Hello, fit- Mr. McDonald. You're fitting in. No, they normally just go, all right, you can't. <laughs> the Peter's not lovely to you now. The- nah, some of them are now. Uh, but they weren't like that for years. Nah, Definitely. and then you're, you're Mr. Big Boots now, and they're all fucking over Fuck, you. Fuck, I don't know about the Big Boots then. <laughs> Mr. Hollywood, now they're all fucking that. loving you. Don't know about that. <laughs> I'm scared to say yes. Because <laughs> yeah. I, I get burnt out of West Belfast. <laughs> so you can always move over to the east. We'll, we'll oh, accept you. Oh, fuck, that will turn out even better, won't it? We all know you're a secret Protestant anyway. Secret Protestant. Do you know, that's fucking mental, right? <laughs> Do you know what a guy said to me in the Port Rouge gig? What did he say? He actually said it when I was on stage. I think he said it when I was on stage, or maybe he said it when I got off. And his exact words was, you're the most Protestant Catholic, no, sorry, you're the most Protestant Fenian I know. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't saying Catholic in Port Rock. He was from the Shankle. He was hitting that F He was from the Shankle. Yeah. There was like four of them from the Shankle. I says. remember them, yeah. So he said to me, you're the most Protestant Fenian I know. And I thought about that for about three days. And it was ringing in my head. It's nothing to do with me being a Protestant. No. I know what he means, though. Like, I, I, I get what he no, means. No, 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 what he's trying to say is, I'm as working class as him. Yeah. It has fuck all to do with religion. Yeah. He just has been brought up as fucking fiends are constant of horns in her head and they're fucking this and that and the other. Yeah. And now that he's actually paying attention to one and seeing one and being in the company of one, he's went... He's like a prod. I'm not. Yeah. I'm just like him. No, yeah. It's fuck all the time of religion. That's exactly what I thought. He, all he meant was you're clearly also from a working class. No, he estate. didn't. It's just, he's genuinely being brought up where feelings are cunts. And he's mad on that and he's gone. He's not that bad. It's fucking, it's that in a nutshell. And yeah. I think if you brought, it's like you doing our down and the fucking loved you. Yeah. But if, you were, walking, but like if you were walking past their shops in July, they would not love you. Yeah. You may still get a big crowd, <laughs> but they may be around you kicking you to fucking death. Do you know what I mean? It's this fucking place. Yeah. It's genuinely, we are so alike, it's yeah. just, they're not fucking yeah. seeing that. I always think, like, we're bringing communities together until you go into the comments of any TikTok video we put up. And you're like, oh no, the sectarianism's fucking there. <laughs> oh fucking, you never. But I don't think you're going to get rid of that. No. Until people live together and fucking do all that. Yeah. It's it's not. While there's still estates and while there's still fucking barriers, there's not going to be. We're getting very fucking across the barricades here. We really are. We're but I don't mean to be. But what I'm saying is, and we're not going to change that. No. It's always That's not why this podcast was made, but we weren't like, we want to bring the country to Cali. Like, fuck, we're doing it. But it, it, it wasn't to do that. It was just fucking two of us from two different backgrounds doing it. But yeah. it's my point that it's fuck all to do with religion. It yeah. has nothing to do with religion. Yeah. Like, he's from the Shangle, and where he was from on the Shangle was in, like literally the top of our street had a peace wall. He was in the other side of it. Yeah, he's so practically 10 like, minutes away from me. Not even. Yeah. And I mean that, it's like, if the fucking wall was now we live in the same street sort of thing. Aye. Do you know what I mean? It's not, it's fucking mental. It just blows my mind. Yeah. And if you fucking take this, if you took it anywhere else in the world, like, it's, it's, we wouldn't live in different areas. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be the same fucking area. Unless we did mud blood where, like, you're Israeli and I'm Palestine. No, but that, that's different even again, because that is completely fucking different fucking kinds of areas. people. Yeah. Well, they're also different fucking, like... The Palestinians are from the Middle East. The Israelis, a lot of mart. Yeah, <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? So my point being there is that people from another part of the world has went somewhere. Do you know... We're going to get a load of Jews on this being fucking raging. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, but uh, I mean, we will not go into that or my fucking political views on what they've done. <laughs> That's not what I'm trying to say, but I'm, I'm talking about like apartheid in fucking Africa. There was blacks <laughs> and there was whites. They fucking clearly look different. Yeah. But that wasn't the case here. Yeah, everyone looked the exact fucking same. Well, Everyone's five foot seven. Do you know what I mean? It, it's just fucking Bold. mental. It, it's just a. Yeah. Well, well, if not if you're from Kerry, then you're seven foot. That's right. Cunts. 
On educated cunts. That's the only thing I can say about it. Did you say all educated cunts? On un- un- educated? Yes. I disagree. I don't think people from Cairo were seven foot. I can prove that. I don't. Can't, like now or over time? Like, can you. I can, I can get the stuff where it says that. Please. The statues in Dublin are actually fucking seven foot. But Kerry in Ireland is actually where the biggest people in Ireland always was from. Yeah. Always traditionally. Uh-huh. So. I'm going to need to see it, i okay. But before we start the show... Fuck you, you can do it yourself. No worries, I'll do it myself then. Uh, if, you ha- if you're seven foot, you have a big hairy bush and you need it shaved, Manscaped, we've told you before, we're going to tell you again, right? It is the best product to shave your little clinkers. It's the best thing to make them feel all warm and cosy. If, you know what I mean, you're going out for New Year's, you're single. You know what I mean? You want a little bit of a kiss on New Year's Eve. No one's going to kiss someone with hairy balls. And that's where we come in. Manscaped. Go onto their website. Click on the wee product. Enter the code MUDBLOOD20. We get you 20% off. How much, Patrick? 20. 20% off for shaving your little balls with Manscaped. They're absolutely great. We use the kits all the time. They give us a wee nose hair trimmer, a wee ear hair trimmer. It's fucking amazing. Manscaped. What's the code again, Patrick? Blood, blood, twenty. He's doing it. So, you, you so don't want to do it, right? Now. <laughs> Manscaped twenty or mud blood twenty on Manscaped gets you twenty percent off. And if we've had people come up this after shows now, show us their shaving balls and they're immaculate. They're I've glass. never, I've never got anybody showing me. The you balls. were one of them. And then they, they give you a little cream, a little ball deodorant, moisturize your bollocks. Fantastic. Or for females, your female bollocks. I don't know what you call them. Mud blood twenty on Manscaped. How are you doing today? Are you, not, you, you look a wee bit annoyed. Yeah, I, I'm in a mood now. Because you're uneducated. <laughs> uneducated fucking <laughs> wanker. We are not the only people who laughed at you when you said that before. It's true, but... Is, but you, you haven't offered any proof as to why it's true. You've just said it's I true. don't need to fucking prove anything. You kind of do. You kind of do. No, I don't. <laughs> <You have laughs> it's out there. So it, it's, it's, <laughs> like, it's out there, so... How many, how many times you get people come up and saying that to you? None. Them? Actually, no. people don't be pricks. No. <laughs> You're so annoying. People don't be pricks. I even met p- fucking Tom the Entrepreneur, Smith, and he wasn't a fucking prick, and I made videos about him. Do you know what I mean? You, you've definitely met pricks out in public, because I've met them too. No, the normally are just pricks online. Keyboard, that, yeah. Keyboard warriors. Yeah. Everyone's lovely to you in person, and then online. They are <sighs> Put it this way, I was in fucking Sainsbury's. This does my balls in, right? I fucking love people come. Up. I don't love it, but I don't mind it. Yeah. People come up, well, it's a crack, what's this, what's that, right? Okay, That's it, all. it is That's, nice. It's nice, it's nice, and we don't mind doing it, even after no. shows. But do you know what I don't like? Somebody taking a picture of me picking crackers on Christmas fucking Eve in Sainsbury's and posting it. That's weird. From behind me. <laughs> and then I see So it's it. like a back of your head looking down on some crackers and they're like... No, me, it's like me and Andrew were standing there picking crackers for the fucking table on Christmas Day and they took a picture of me, like, from behind me and then posted it and was like, Paddy McDonald picking crackers. And then I seen it. Knew then who the person was because I went into their profile. Seen them at two A's down and went and told them, why didn't you just ask me for a picture? And literally going like that and looking away and fucking didn't speak to me. Then blocked me on Facebook. That's weird. mental. Weird as fuck. That's mental. There must have been raging that the two legs they got fucking had to be right. fucking took it away. And then, oh, fuck, how socially awkward do you need to be? I get it, it can be a wee bit like, oh, can I get a photo? You may feel like, like a wee bit silly, which don't, like, it's fine. Yeah. But, like, taking a photo of someone from behind then uploading it, while, while you're still in the aisle, that's yeah, weird, that's way like, weirder. And then when I see them, <laughs> like, looking like that, and, and then thinking this means that they're invisible. Yeah. Was there something, were they of my persuasion? Not Protestants, you know. <laughs> I don't know. No. Didn't 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 get looking that far into it. Didn't really know them, if you know what I mean. I love when people just put put anything on your online profiles and think you won't see it. Do you know I mean? Like you have your accounts run by like Tom Smith's doing your fucking socials like. Do you know what mm. I mean? Like we're we're the ones that read Did all you of see them. the comic put a picture up? So since I've done the Tom Smith thing, a lot of other comedians have started slagging him and, and bombarding him. Um, he took mine well. 
Cormac put a picture up of him. I did see what he put up. And he put a lot of things underneath it. Aye. And Tom Smith put up a video from the beach saying, Village clowns. <laughs> village clowns and village idiots are always going to be around. <laughs> and it was this whole video about, and it was obviously directed. It was clear to them. Oh, it was definitely clear to them. Like, yeah. Um, so you need to be careful who you talk about, don't you? That's it. Like, like see, even before, like you had a bit of a profile, you could make jokes about anyone. Now it's like they're probably gonna see it. Yeah. I'm waiting on the libel order from Nolan we, that we will eventually get. Why? Why? What if we? Sh- what if we said about him? You said something about him about three episodes in that is is definitely libelous. Nothing no, that has made it into the show. Yeah. Oh, did it not make it in? No. no it's, yeah, William. That's fair enough. Then. So you're tired. Right exactly, is right. I told you I'm audition for the <laughs> PSNI. Turn to be shat. <laughs> you fucking prick. How was your Christmas? I haven't seen Quiet. you since the Port Rush gig. Quiet. Literally, and I mean that, literally sat in the house and done fuck all. Did you have a wee drink or anything, or just no? Had a half a tin of cider. It's very, that is very quiet. I don't drink. That's right, actually, yeah. I very rarely drink. Yeah. Is there a reason that you don't drink, or are you just off it? Just doesn't bother. That's because of the gout. Good. So, yeah. and we're trying to get that in check at the minute so yeah. I want to get off of steroids because it's fucking made me like that and I'm fed up fucking looking like a drummer for the fucking young Conway volunteers <laughs> do you know what I mean <laughs> having the shop and fucking take hey max and yeah. buy stuff that you don't want just to fit you but uh, uh, so yeah just being quiet just being quiet yeah. trying to chill out very good very good we peaceful time I ruined Christmas day for my family like so that's, that's what I you ruined it yeah I ruined it in so what way? I went out on Christmas Eve, right? And I went, right, I'll go out early. I'll go at four o'clock. So then I'll get my pants in. I'll see my friends. I'll be home by eight. I told my sister, I'll be home by eight. We'll watch the Gavin Stacey Christmas special. That didn't she, happen. She rings me at 12 o'clock. Being like, where the fuck are you? You told me you were going to come home and watch this. And I was like, I definitely lied about that. I'm not going to come home. And I, like, I was that blocked, right? I just, do you ever get a notion when you're out? And you just go, I'm going home. Do you know what I mean? You don't, mm. you don't do the big, oh, I'm away from you, just go, do you know what, I'm leaving. You just leave. You just leave. Yeah. And I have my mates. I have a mate does that. Yeah. I don't do it all the time. No, my mate does it all the fucking time. Every single time. Yeah, so I always make sure I leave before him now. <laughs> I know when he's going to do it. Like, he done it after my Ulster Hall. Uh-huh. And there was him and another fella, and he he obviously owns a taxi depot, so he ordered the taxi. And they went in and ordered a pizza, and then he paid for two pizzas and walked outside and gone. And like, it was all over WhatsApp, like, cut! <laughs> <laughs> Left me in the town, couldn't get a taxi till fucking four o'clock in the morning or something. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And he already told his missus he was buying a pizza and he was coming up the road. Uh. And he just fucked off. So, he does it all the time. I mean, literally, you could be in fucking Spain with him. Uh. Away out in a fucking nightclub in the fucking desert. And, and he, he wouldn't home. tell he's at home, he's just fucking go. It's not that I, it's if you're in my vicinity, mm-hmm. if you're around me, I'll be like, I'm away here, do you need a taxi? But if you're not near me, I remember, I'm not coming to find I remember getting absolutely fucking shit faced like uh-huh. at parties and stuff like that and going that's it I've had enough I'm out I'd done it one time up the Antrim coast and I was passive. I think it was Tor Head I was in which is on the cliff and I fucking left this party and what a mistake I made I was like 17 mil from fucking Cushion Dollar Show I just remember stealing clothes off of Washington Lane to fucking walk because it was freezing it was like fucking January and I, I had just my t-shirt on and I fucking took lane, stuff off a lane that was still fucking damp by the way and I fucking had to try and get a bit of warmth to try and make it in and well, I nothing gets you warm like wet clothes I made it till Cushion Doll at about 9 o'clock the next morning and that was probably from 12 o'clock the night before fuck me didn't know where I was what I was doing where I was going anything, but I had enough at the party it was just like I need to get away here uh, everything was spinning do you know what I mean so uh, I was like I'm out of here yeah. I'm you don't want me I can't wait in the toilet but I was completely sober by the time I got back I was able to work the next day fuck like, completely me. fucking sobered up every time I ever did anything like that was I was in Thompson's one night was like fucking blood and just left my mates saw me leaving so you do it all the time man. you're a weak hunt I do <laughs> but my mates saw me leaving I was like 17 at the time they saw why were you in Thompson's because 17 you can get in um, they saw me like leaving at 17 you must have looked forward I had a good idea at my brother's idea hey mate who also looks really hey, young it's really me and that 
Oh, I had this voice when I was like 14. So like, <laughs> you've got the baby voice, but you're like, right, bro. So you're like the wee, you were like a wee dwarf in uh, Lord of Rings. <laughs> yeah, I've always had this rough. What's he called? Gimli. Wee Gimli. Gimli. Yeah, wee Gimli. Wee Gimli Thompson. But like, I've always had this voice, so I'd be like going in the shops, be like, hey, bro. <laughs> Can I get two ten pea mixers, please, the Fredo, you can't. <laughs> and, I, and I'd always buy like, the fruitiest like drinks that a 14 year old be drinking, so I'd just be like, just a smart old voice, please, mate. Cheers, bro. <laughs> Or the time I left Hamsons and my mates saw me leave and they're like, where did you go? And they're like, oh, I'm home now. And they're like, we saw you leaving. And I was like, nah, nah, but I ran home. <laughs> I was like, from Thompson's? I told them I ran home from Thompson's yeah. in the five minutes. They went outside, went around the corner and I was just like lying against the wall again. People throw money at you? Yeah. Hamburgers and all? Yeah. That's, I would always lie and say I'm home because I'm like, I don't want people to make a fuss. I'm like, don't worry, I'm home. And they're like, we can, or did we're you here, not, we can Did you it. not want to be beside them? No, it's not that. It's I'm too drunk and I feel I'm, I'm being a hassle. And there's nothing worse when someone is a hassle when they're too drunk and they don't know. And like they're spilling shit and being like, I'm sorry, bro, I'm sorry. Do you know what I mean? It's Whereas if one. you're too drunk, fuck off. That's it's acceptable. There's another one too whenever your mates are out somewhere and you've done their work or you're doing something. Yeah. And you're yes. like, I'm made up with this. And then you get to them and they're all fucking like absolutely out of it. And yeah. you're like, this is shit. Yeah. Because you haven't been at the same pace as him, so yeah. you're not having the crack. That's always not that is. If you're doing a big show somewhere, say, like, for example, you're Ulster Hall. Not that that is an example of it. Just say you're doing a show and everyone's out drinking, and then you go to the after party. You're stone cold sober, because yeah. you've got the adrenaline and yeah. you're drunk, and everyone's been drinking from about five. It is the five. shittest. Mates of mine were drinking from 12 that day. <laughs> they were sleeping at the show. I don't class just hate them. They were sleeping at the show. Because they'd been out from 12 o'clock that day. Can you picture what it was like when I got back to Limelight with them? Aye. I had to put my own mates out of the bar. <laughs> Did you? Because I was meant to go to Limelight with you and then I didn't. One was caught in the woman's toilets. Another one was trying to start a fucking fight. And it was just like the, 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 the doorstep were lovely and they were coming over and going, Paddy, look, one of your friends. And they me, listen, what did they do? Fuck it, tell me, I'm sober. They were already done this, done that. And me, right. And I fucked them out. <laughs> so I'm carrying people out to the bar. And somebody went, what's he doing? And they were like, He's throwing them out because he says it's better him throwing them out than him. It's fucking out to the fucking, you're not getting back in. <laughs> fucking doing the door, my own fucking <laughs> night out. It was fucking terrible. I couldn't wait to go home. Really? What time did you end up home that night? Five very early. Yeah. Half twelve or something. Well, fuck that is, aren't we? I was considering we weren't, you weren't yeah. awesome. I didn't get in until I left it. It was the last to leave because I cleaned the mess up that everybody fucking left right. in the fucking officer hall and uh, cleaned that up and then walked around to the bar. And just get in and knew it was a mistake. Yeah. Just went, shouldn't have had this here. Should have just fucked him at home. Yeah. Yeah. I remember after the first time I did my limelight show on limelight two, by the time I'd sorted everything out and got in, everyone was fucking plastered. After shows, I either want to walk to clear my head or I want to do something. Because after our limelight, yeah. I walked it and that was when the fucking the flute band got me and carried me back down the Lisburn Road. <laughs> So <laughs> literally from the lane that I got till Rand's bar, I was walking the whole way up to Finnegy, like that's my plan, that was where I was doing like yeah. and get her pick me up at Finnegy just to clear my head because she'd be so whew, after yeah. a show because that was a great show and a great atmosphere. Yeah. Whereas after the fucking Ulster Hall, I was just like, I need to clean the fucking room. I wouldn't leave it like this. No. For somebody to talk about me, especially because I know the manager. But because like, there's a load of tins and shit everywhere. Yeah. Nuts on the floor and everything. Fuck, so I go down picking up nuts off the floor and all cleaning it. It's probably practically within the room. I went, fuck, it's ballast. <laughs> but, but, yeah, so it's it's like that. But uh, I don't know. I would need to be out of anger out with people I need to be out from the start. Yeah. And I also hate being like a tag along. I hate going out, like, you asked me to go out with you and your mates, and there's yeah. a big age difference on top of that. Yeah. So I didn't want to look like a pedo. If people didn't know the crack, <laughs> they were just like, his dad's out with him. Yeah. Fuck, that's fucking grim as fuck. Yeah, it would look, that is, we, I do forget that is the age difference between me or, and Or people like going, does he have a wee bit of downs or something, and he has to bring him with him. It's not a wee body, he just comes with him. Do you know what I mean? You don't want to be the disabled one for once? No, I don't fucking know. Listen, <laughs> I am disabled. It's not the fucking big deal, but it's, I'm just saying, that's an thing. People think I fucking slobber too much about disabled people on it. I, I told you on that episode, you I did say spastics about 40 times. I don't talk about all disabled people. Well, I just talk about, about you. me. Yeah, yeah. And you are a spastic, yeah. so it's, it's yeah. fine. I and I, do I don't take it bad, but they're, you know... You did at the start, but now you don't. <laughs> I, d- I didn't, I don't really. I never really did. I thought you did. No, I never really did. But 
I can't, like, I can't, I don't think it, I don't mind, yeah. I'm fine with that banter, I can't control how other disabled yeah. people I don't want people to think that, like, fucking there's loads of disabled people, like, in my family and stuff, so it's not, like, yeah, yeah it's yeah. not, I'm not Frankie boy. No, yeah, I'm you're not bullying, you're, you're just, no. a, you're bullying this one disabled kid. Yes, this, 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 <laughs> this one. one. But I, I, didn't I say on that episode, I, like, you have said spastic about 45 times. It was, so, so, it was so, the so, word of the day. It's like Sesame Street. You had it written like on the board. It was yeah, the word like of the day. Different colours. It was like the word of the day. And I have people asking me, being like, "Where can I get this spot?" Today's shirt? episode of Sesame Street was brought to you with the word "spastic." Spastic. <laughs> it would have been dead. That's Graham McDonald. Since that, that you know, spastic. I play like an absolute he spastic. A, he, he is a muppet. See, on the, your, your uh, tip, will you do that bit about his accent on TikTok? The amount of people raging because they're like, he doesn't even sound like that. The, uh, it's like, the accent's terrible. Oh. And all this here. I was actually surprised that people in Balamoni have internet. Never oh, mind wow. TikTok. Yeah. Like, genuinely, they're so backward. <laughs> the cons don't know whether they're sipped up or buttoned up. up <laughs> Is it, where's your boy Dunlop from? Balamoni. Aye, uh, because they took it fucking thick. Like, and they are thick. Yeah, so as I can tell, because right, he's, he's a fucking gentleman, unlike you. I, I was wondering how many people actually fucking learned how to write. Was it their curves were writing this on TikTok for yeah. them, or what's the crack? Cause More disabled jokes, Paddy. <laughs> well done. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> That's people in Balamon, Yeah. They are fucking... They all just... People have been fucking taking it back on their fucking Balamon for years. Yeah. I didn't even think it was that bad, what I said. No, but what you, I have said far worse... Than anything like that, and the, don't get in trouble. I for it. didn't take away from the fact that Joey Dunlap was obviously the best road racing beggar ever. Yeah, and I did say that in the fucking actual bit. Yeah. What I joked about was his accent. Accent, and people are like, that's not even. How and it I joke about my own accent and how I speak and how I used to speak. So it's not a big fucking yeah. deal. Somebody's accent isn't a fucking disability. Yeah, it's just where they're from and how it's close to it the money, like, but they definitely have bigger upper or bottom lips. Yeah. Their bottom lips definitely come with bigger chins, like they come out past our like. Even if they don't have it, they develop it. it that's one of those places as <laughs> soon as. <laughs> <laughs> it's like them African trades where they have all the gold rings around their necks to make their necks longer. Do you think in Balamoli? Yeah, they, Balamoli just, no, they just get all the kids and make them sit on the end of a wall to have brick to their chin. Well, do, just to make the chin go out further. Big fucking know? lip plate. Big fucking lip in the corner. It is one of those places, as soon as you hear someone talk, I immediately am like, I don't want to talk to this person because I can't understand them. <laughs> <laughs> There's a level of culture. Like, Mark McCartney's borderline. It's only because I know him I can understand him. See, when uh, I first met him and he would speak to me, I'm like, I'd have to go, I don't know what you're talking about. I actually, because he just uses those colloquialisms um, with that accent. I'm like, I don't have a slow. fucking clue. He's slow. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Likes the ball of money and, and, and then there's parts of it are, are, are slow too. Like, if you go in till Carnlock and Glen Arm, they've got the fucking accent, but they're slow as fuck when yeah. they talk, so you can get it. Uh, there's parts of Balamoni that do like speed it up. Yeah. Where it's like, what the fuck? But is I think this I can pick up people talking fast. See if people talk slowly, my brain just switches off and I'm like, get to the end of the sentence. There's parts. I already know what I want to say. There's parts of Japan you would think they're alien. Yeah. It's not even like it's it's sounds. It's not even words. And I've met these people before, yeah. and it's fucking frightening. Yeah, because all I have for reference of Straban is like more close. Only noises. Yeah. Because Woodsy's like, not that bad. <laughs> You're going, what the fuck? <laughs> and these people are communicating with it, but it's not in a fucking language. Like, yeah. I try, where is the worst? The worst accent? There's parts of Belfast even have different uh, accents. Like me and you. Fucking We speak differently. Of course I do. Similarly, but also quite differently. Oh, you, definitely there's different. I, uh, there's different dialects as you go up a fucking falls road. Uh, ah. Or is it, is it like more accent? Like, there's like, a, there's, there, it's, oh, 100 percent. Because you get like a Tully Carnot accent and a Beaver accent, like they don't sound the same. No. Do you know what I mean? Try to think, where's the Bally Bean? You can get hit pretty hard with like proper Smackdown accent, but the kind of like in Bally Bean you can get someone who's been like on the glue for years. So I've got that down real fucking strong. Kind of don't really change her tone. That's fucking lovely, are bro. You sound like a fucking alarm on a house. Yeah. Or a fucking 
bell on the front door that's fucked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you ever get, like, when you were a kid, a toy that had a voice box, but then you come back to it 20 years later and it can still talk? I was like, I don't fall out. <laughs> Reach for a sky cowboy. It's, it's like I talk about Hill, Hill Town to talk like their batteries are running out. <laughs> but you can understand them. Yeah. Because all they really do is talk very clearly, but it's really slow. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah it's at help, but in fucking parts, like as you say, yeah. you get somebody like that. You, I remember we lost the new lodge one time, my taxi, and he was like, I fucking need it. I fucking need it. I fucking. You're like, what the fuck even is that? <laughs> That's really quite poetic. Do you know what I mean? But he, he's fucking. Telling you something about Tupac. <laughs> Smokes love Tupac. That's the fucking thing. And you're like, what the fuck? Smokes love I Tupac. Pick, I picked up six of them, right? <laughs> Genuinely picked up six of them. And they were going to an outdoor rave in a forest outside a lawn. Uh-huh. And your mom got in. And I had to stop him about Mollusk. And I says, listen, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> Because he was like, I was like, what the fuck is this? this cunt? There was like a guy who used to be on Channel 4 called Pub. Yeah. Do you remember that? I, I don't see remember him, it, but I know Google, it is. You'll see it. And he used to come on and go, and that was based on a smick from Belfast. <laughs> but I, I thought, said, yes. He sounds like smick, but. And he used to go, right? He looks like every girl. It was a smack from Belfast. In their twenties from Belfast. Some, some cunt. Just me and the kids from now on. Get a wee photo of Paul. <laughs> but his kid. No more snakes telling the messages. His kid could actually speak English because when I told him that, then he started talking Sammy normal, and he says, <laughs> "No, what I'm trying to say to you is, is like, I'm really into my two pack, right?" And he says, "I was sitting all day, and I was reading about him," and he says. Do you know what? See me and Tupac, we were the same people. <laughs> <laughs> and I was going, clearly not. Yeah. He was black. Yeah. You're white. He lived in America. We Daddy Shakur. And he lived in the, the back of And he's like, no, so much, you know, so much similarities. Like, he says, we both lived in the ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> he says, I'm a talented robber. He's the top of <laughs> He's gone. I've never heard of you. Sorry, I must have missed you on the MTV Awards. Yeah. And here we have Daki Macalorum from fucking thing. Yeah. Call him D-Mac. Right? Hail Mary. And he comes on and goes, I wasn't too good at school, but I'm all right now. And Alan John would come out and do a fucking rendition with him. And he would just have that chorus. I wasn't too good at school, but I'm all right now. He's a person that wears beach mount love. <laughs> 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 and it's the thing, see, like, when a smith turns, smokes weed for the first time when they're like 13, 14, just fucking adore Tupac. And he, he just went on about her, him and Tupac. And, like, is Tupac and me before, like, bro? <laughs> They're like bros. It's like if you had us in the same He was shot there, I'm gonna get shot there. He'd be kneecapped. Yeah, like, no, He'd no, be kneecapped. So that's what he said. Like, he's, I survived. He's been shot. I've been shot, no. <laughs> Sitting in the taxi going, please, <laughs> somebody just t- take us cunt away. There's something about turning 14 and then automatically like that. Two pack fucking fly turns up in your room. The, the, yeah. He says, uh, I listen to his music and I cry. I cry because we're so similar. He says, I sit in my room, my top off, and I rub my gunshot wounds and I go tooth pack. Tooth pack. Tooth pack? He's calling them tooth pack. He's calling them tooth pack. Tooth pack. He didn't tooth pack, say, sure, he, didn't, he didn't even call them tooth pack. He called them tooth pack. I said, I remember. He had a wee tooth fucking pack. tooth pack. <laughs> He's like the Colgate version of fucking yeah. tooth pack. <laughs> Hey, dude, do you like Toothpack or Peggy Smalls? Who do you like that? <laughs> but in the whole way down the line, he was just telling me this whole thing, and I was going, what the fuck? You're nothing like Toothpack. Like, I don't know that much about Toothpack, but you're not <laughs> anything like him. <laughs> and he's like, the similarities is fucking uncanny, me, and I can't believe it. And like, all the birds fancy me, and I was looking at him going, what fucking birds are you talking about? If you, if you are 
thinking you're a sex symbol because your <coughs> ma told you you're gorgeous. Uh, He's gorgeous, my son. Because there was no bird saying this guy was gorgeous. Like yeah. a fucking... What did he look like? A fucking Skylander. Do you remember the wee figures you bought? So he, like, and you played them on the fucking I, Nintendo or something. Yeah, my yeah, kid had them. He looked like one of them. Just a wee warp. Like off. a fucking <laughs> one eye bigger than you are and everything. It was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> me and Toothpack are a shame. Me and Toothpack. Me and Toothpack. That's fucking my favourite thing ever. We Toothpack secure. But it, it blew my fucking mind. It, it fucking blew my mind that night that he, in his head, genuinely. Do you know one of them ones where he was like, I could make it too? I could make it too. Like, he genuinely looked at himself in the mirror and done his wee raps about the new lodge and thought, do you know what? Everyone around the world, like, they'd be playing this in fucking the ghettos and fucking Philly and Aye. fucking California and all, all the black fellas driving about and big cars bounced about and they just have this cunt from the new lodge called fucking Daddy M. Fucking <laughs> I I used to love Freddo's, but they're 20p now, you know? <laughs> yeah. like, what the fuck? Like, who's going to relate yeah. to his stuff? yeah. I can't even say I wanted to be a rapper when I was younger. Like, Tried to say it on the brew, but it never happened. Ah oh, man, I feel so for this guy. Like you know, there's nobody going to have these posters up. Dag AM from the New Lodge all mm. around the world. Do you know what I mean? Put your Bucky cops up. <laughs> Fuck a PSNI. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's in that there is rappers from here that are good. Yeah. Like Nakeup are fucking brilliant. Do you know Nakeup, what I, mean? I like Young Spencer. You like Young Spencer. I, I like do Nakeup. like Young Spencer. Yeah. <laughs> That's dead surprising. Yeah. <laughs> I do like it. What do you like about his music? It's that like, do you sit in your room and go, "Me and Young Spencer are so like <laughs> straight out of Belfast." It's like Stan. Me and you should meet up. We should be friends. I sent you two fucking friend requests back in fucking autumn. Did you not get them? <laughs> That's who shot Toothpack. It was that we love Toothpack. But it, it, it's like when you grow up in East Belfast, we love like club long classics. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> at the end of every we fucking love Clubland Classic. Like, it just is. Oh, I know. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I know. So he's I just have found this out recently. Have <laughs> you? Yous not only love, like, yous use that. Like, we always would have seen the 12th of July and Sandy Row after yous have that whole fucking. Doof, 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 yeah. Right? That's all fucked out by about fucking three o'clock. Aye, that's and then bits great. and pieces is getting blasted. Dun, 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 Did you see that? Right? the group chat? That was Santa coming Santa down the shackle. On the bits and pieces. It was like... Da, 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 it's like, mommy, mommy. It's just like, I fucking love that song. Santa's pure fucking throwing hands. I conceived you to that song, so I did in the shackle. The party in Ballygo Martin. Your dad's a cunt. <laughs> Play bits and pieces. Dave Elliott's name is, is Ulster Hall Show Bits and Pieces. No, I know. I, don't, I like bits and pieces. I'm not saying that. I like I like it. But I mean, you play that type of music at unusual times. Special day, come with me by four o'clock in the afternoon. This is the thing. There's no Catholic mass or funeral that has that played. Yeah. I found out recently the Protestants you have the maddest songs playing at funerals. <laughs> Love Inc. Superstar. Is what you play the gym? I'll get buried. <laughs> I'm not uh, even joking. When I found that out recently, I was like, what the fuck? And I thought the one I was told about was a one off. It's not. <laughs> this is a thing that you do. No. You bring the sh- you bring Santa under the shackle. Bits and pieces. You marry your man, Love Inc. I'm a superstar. I'm not one wee girl in the middle of the next house. So I'm like, this is for you, mother. And then I forget because we have a priest, right? And a priest would never allow that shit, right? But you don't just have these cons who were pastors who came from power military groups, so it's a hundred percent straight. It's like here's pastor baby, fucking love this one. This one goes out there, girl, we're about to put in the ground. Actually made a dance with her in the Kilwalker house, right? sticking on their loads, loving everybody, fucking sing, right? Every, everybody Fuck stop me. for the deceased. Pretty green eyes. <laughs> Bass hunter. <laughs> I fucking love Bass hunter too. No, yeah, yeah. Fucking yeah. What a song to play. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, I remember the, the fucking first cross and wedding I went to. Like we were all sitting in the wee church, and it was just a fucking basketball court, and fucking in the middle of. Monster. Sorry, someone got married in a basketball the court. Was, like a was it we did it? Two pack. Pack. <laughs> it was it two pack. Two pack from the wall. This is what two pack when I wanted. It was like a multi-purpose thing. So it was a sports hall as well. Can you get married by two with an away game here, please? <laughs> <laughs> 
And I was sitting there like fucking all day respectful. And then next minute it was fucking face hunter and walked down the end too. And I was like, Did they really? Oh, you go. Cool. That's amazing. You use it. You use it. Every, like love it. See if it has. See if it has a bit in the middle of a song where it goes. Are you ready? We fucking love it. These are like fucking red. Scooter as well. Uh, Back uh, in the UK, burying your ma. <laughs> see, see when you we did the live podcast and you did Ian Paisley doing Scooter. <laughs> I've never laughed so hard in my fucking life. <laughs> With a good time, I think. I was very. It's just William. It's just a wee Protestant telling me what to do. That's never happened before, has <laughs> it? But what I was pretty doing? I fucking just. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Well, I was just saying that Paisley, like, <laughs> they missed a trick. Like, Paisley should have been using his voice for car alarms. Yeah. Because I was saying, like, if fucking Joy Raiders were coming up your driveway and they stick a screwdriver in and their eagle arm goes... <laughs> Whereas if they had had Paisley's voice in a fucking car alarm, you stuck it in the bed. Get the fuck away from my car, you dirty wee bastard! You better run like fuck. Like the whole estate would have woke up, the pillars would have arrived. We're in the middle of West Belfast, there's you know, someone walking outside, being like, he's fucking back! <laughs> the ghost of the <laughs> like. <laughs> oh, here, they're probably going, there's Santa going back down the shack. <laughs> <laughs> I said that for anyone in the comedians group chat, and you can tell the divide between the cultures and the, the, the city ones in our group chat, can't They you? were like, because the what? culture ones are like, what the fuck? And then all the like Belfast ones are like, that's oh, brilliant! <laughs> Do you know what's weird as fuck? See, since I found out that my dad's ones are really cult from Coal Island, I've seen me buy more brown shoes and check shirts. I thought you meant hash. <laughs> well, I, I have started to wear brown shoes, blue jeans, and check shirts and wee jumpers. <laughs> and it must be a it must be a subconscious thing when you know you're connected to something that just start going into it. <laughs> So the cultiness is starting to come out. <laughs> and I had to catch myself up, because I generally dress quite smicky. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so then you dress the same. Like, we'll wear stuff no, that, like, we smicks wear and it'd be nice. No, we don't. Yeah, we do. No, we don't. When I'm, when I'm on a formal you occasion... You were wearing we a fucking, like, psychedelic fucking pink fucking top. Something stupid on it the other time we yeah, were doing it. Really it. Is so nice please, shirt. I don't dress like... Well, no, but, like, see, like, like, I would have a lot of stuff you have. No, he doesn't. Yes, I do. Uh, yes, I do. Just don't wear it in the podcast. Couldn't afford it. Yeah. Couldn't afford Fuck it. Fuck him. <laughs> Couldn't afford it. Right? Couldn't afford a TK Maxx. Yes, I could. <laughs> yes, I could. So, so I, can, I only get the... TK Maxx when it's stolen from TK Maxx. <laughs> <laughs> I don't buy from the shop. Oh, I'm going wholesale. Do you know? <laughs> uh, I like. I, I like getting a bargain, bargain, bargain. But it needs to be another part of a bargain. It yeah. needs to be stolen from TK Maxx. So it needs to be past the actual year of fucking being in style, being sold in TK Maxx and then stole by some scumbag. And then I stole get it six months, six months later when he gets out. Yeah. <laughs> because he sliced it. But see, like, that would be me just for the podcast. See, I have to dress formally. Mm-hmm. I do just look like a smick who's trying to dress formally because I can't really... Well, I dress nice, formally. don't get me wrong, but I'm just saying in general, like, like today I'm wearing blue jeans, skinny blue jeans... Poor Nick or Max, which are fucked, by the way, I've just noticed. And a fucking Leyland Scott tap. I could be anybody's dad from the shackle. That's what I mean, I like me some Leyland Scott. I could be, like, anybody's dad from the shackle that's sitting here and he's got a wee jumper from the You're ready for a wee Benedict's oh, Sunday brunch, like? I'll oh, bring it in, church. Oh. <coughs> but, uh, no, it, it's just a weird thing that when you find out that you're actually connected to something, it must be, I don't know, there must be a word for it, there must be an effect, there must be a syndrome. Yeah, down that you fucking start so not even trying to be you just start being a part of it or feeling a part of it and you must do it in your appearance or something that you were and it's fucking strange you know, Aaron, Aaron Butler found out he's like 2% African and dresses fucking he always well. dressed like a wanker anyway <laughs> we don't bully him enough see him oh, like, mate, he'll be on soon mate his fucking Can we shoes bully him? with the coat I will fucking slag a ball see him. what he wore before Dave in the Ulster Hall like I, someone sent me it and I was like what, what the, the fuck, fuck? He looks like somebody, he wears the same clothes as somebody that would sell watches, fake watches and fucking thing on the beach in Santa Ponsa. He looks... That's genuinely yeah, his fucking... He looks like a street contact when starts getting hutch. Looky, you looky. Know, he looks like fucking, what's his name, Huggy Bear. That's how he dress. It's grim, like. And he's a good looking fella. He just yeah. has to wear a nice shirt and a fucking pair of jeans. Like, he doesn't need to go... Stop dressing like a pimp. He, he must need, like, he... He, he must, enjoys it. He enjoys it. He does. It. He likes, he likes it there, else he wouldn't do it. <laughs> I, can I show you, actually? 
Yeah. He's a mate of mine fucking sent me a picture of us, right? So he owns a taxi depot, we'll not name him, but he's called Heskey. And, uh, oh, yeah, I know. I know. I've met Heskey. Yeah, you've met him, right? Um, Every time you say Heskey, I just picture him. Yes, he's the one with the stag doing stuff, right? Yeah. That's all I think. What was the name Heskey? Right. So he sent in the R group today a picture with these shoes. Now, he has a couple of gay fellas that drive taxis for him, right? So they, he put that in. You see that? Yeah. So I'll we'll send it in. That looks like something I can be sure the camera at, can we? Uh, I'll have to, I'll, I you mean, you have to blur screen. all the numbers so on the screen. It's basically like a per, sort of Converse-esque sort of type of baseball yeah. fucking yeah, ankle boots. Yeah, if RuPaul did Nikes, that's what they That are like. blue leather. And had, now this is something that grew up in St. James's in the Falls Road all his life. Some of the things he wears is fucking mad. Now that there is like... If a girl were them, I would still look at her. Funny, if she was from West Belfast. Yeah. Never mind a fucking fella, right? So he put that in, and I, he basically said, yes or no, lads, and our mate in Scotland, Leonard, says, straight red, who is the owner of such horrible things? And I put the name of one of the fellas that driving this taxi place. It's gay, because of him, he mate wore them. And he was raging, and I said it was him. And I says, was it right? And then he put a picture, and there was him wearing them. And that's the gay fellow there. So he uh, he was going to kick my cunt in because I thought he was wearing them. He's dressed more like a smirk than him. <laughs> They're and fucking he, And he's... Uh, it was Hesky wearing them. Hesky wearing them. So we are now fucking torturing the bollocks out of him. Look, we memes and all. Honest son. Hesky we wears them shoes. I, lo- I love your memes. I love them. Like, that's his jacket. <laughs> what the fuck, like? Oh, my fucking God. But then again, like it, you know, I wear a pink shirt and you call me gay, so it's no, hard to... I wear pink. I've always wore pink. My dad hates the fact I wear pink. I yeah. actually wore pink. I think I like pink because my dad fucking hates. My dad does not associate pink with men. Yeah. At all. My man bought me. I wore pink in front of your dad. Badminton set. Yeah, my dad came in from work. <laughs> my dad came in from work and it was pink badminton set. Like a literally a fucking two pound set from the local shop. My dad went, who the fuck owns them? My man says, I had to get them for Patrick. They didn't have any other. They're like neon pink. There was neon pink or neon green. There was no green left. My man just bought me the pink ones. And he went, he's not fucking using broken fucking them in the bin. He's not fucking using pink. Fucking hates pink. Badminton's a man's sport. <laughs> if he's going to be flicking, if he's going to be flicking me shuttle cocks, he's going to be doing it with a green colour. Uh, he's like, what's that ball called? <laughs> Shuttle cock. Put them in the Get me up, you fucking dirty bastard. <laughs> Pink and shuttle cocks, folks, here. Yeah. <laughs> Big hurling stick. Yeah. Get out there. What was it about primary school, right? Because everyone in primary school, all you really wanted to do was play football. And they made you play the shittest sports instead of football. Like what? Like badminton. <laughs> Because with the Wait, made us, the made no, us no, play. No, never. That make you? No, no. Must be a wee prost. They, 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 they made us play that. They made us play rounders. Mm-hmm. It's definitely a gay thing. Uh, well, I didn't go to a gay school, so I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta teach you to love dicks, young man. <laughs> All Protestants in our eyes were gay. Yeah. They're gay as fuck. How do you know? I seen them going into that church. Do you know what I mean? No. <laughs> gay concert, a pack of gay cunts. I, I, I was like, I genuinely... You thought all Protestants were homosexuals? Yeah, they, no, our paramilitaries didn't do that justice. Because they weren't. Yeah, because they, they, yeah, yeah. they were like the gayest fucking yeah, people. I think you'll find Sammy Skelly would have something to say, say about that. that our, <laughs> like, look at their photographs and look at ours. Our, our, our people that went to jail from our areas look like hurry wildebeests. Yeah. Those like year they, ones had yeah. their eyebrows done before it was even a thing. Yeah. Some beds were all standing with Daisy Duke shorts like this. Yours all look like they were going to... Look at us here. You. Yours all looked like they were going to read you some fucking intense poetry that they've written, whereas ours just looked like they were going to Magaluf. <laughs> <laughs> looked like they were on the Falaraki on a Club 1830 gay weekend. What's Falaraki? Falaraki. What's Falaraki? It's a place in Greece. Oh, right. I want to go there. Why? Yeah, that's, that's all the paramilitaries on a boat. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Falaraki? No, no. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised the Protestant haven't heard of Valeragi, look. Oh, I really haven't. Megaloof? I've heard I've been to Megaloof. Uh, well, that's gay too. That's <laughs> gay. <laughs> that was a gay. Just because you went. Was it, was it Catholic school, Santa Ponza? Oh. Oh, Sponza. Bondorn, Santa Ponza. 
I jammer, I've never heard of Bondorn, Tom McCartney did that video. I've actually never been to it. I've never I've been to Donegal loads, I've never been in Bondorn. Yeah. Never. Seriously? Never. I, there's so much of this country and I like people speak about it and I'm like, I've never heard of it. Ever. Sure, well, Father Aki isn't in Ireland, by the way. No. It's not a wee town. Father Aki goes, he lives in Peru. Father Aki! Used to be all wet, but now there's a. T- <laughs> <laughs> Person of colour! <laughs> there's a father who owns an Indian shop. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, honestly, when we started this podcast, you, were, you wouldn't have stopped at the P. You're learning. We're rehabilitating them. Yeah, yeah so, um, like everyone said, we've been tra- wanting us to get a Patreon. We are starting one. This will be the first week we do one. Uh, the questions this week, we're going to do them for the Patreon episode. So you'll get this on YouTube for free. Or if you want to hear it all in full, head on over to the Mudblood Patreon. We'll have it on our pages and we'll have all the links there and you'll be able to hear the questions. So I think that's... So we're, we're stopping the questions. We're going to... What we're gonna a pack of flags. What, what a pack of bastards. What a fucking table. What a pack of bastards. What the fuck? We're sellout bastards. <laughs> well, <laughs> where's the socialism in us anyway? We're better than fucking gas. Well, fuck me. I'm going to be standing on the town. Somebody's going to come over and go, fuck it up yourself now, <laughs> McDonald, aren't you? <laughs> two pen. Two, two pen a month, you. Two pen a month. What do you think you are on the fucking Chopra box? Fuck you. Fuck you, you cunt. Well, yeah. But anyway, uh, if you head on over to the YouTube or the Patreon page, we're going to answer all the questions. And it's flat as fuck. I know it is. Money though. They've cancelled all our gigs, Paddy. They've cancelled everything. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's I've cancelled Christmas. I can't feed my kids because I can't have no gigs. You don't gigs. have any kids. I know, but I can't feed them even if I did because oh. I've no gigs. You can't feed them because you have cerebral palsy. That's awful. I can't I can feed them seeds. <laughs> <laughs> South boy? <point>. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, is that a trouble? <laughs> Cerebral palsy, so steaks are 500 quid. It takes me so long. <laughs> takes me so long. Oh, can I have chips? Can you fuck? You can have rice. This is dead. The turkey sells steaks, and everybody's like, it's class the way he does it. He's like, why are you all looking at me? So he puts sunglasses on so he can't see them, and then it goes. Ah, because the cerebral palsy's in the eyes, and <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thank you very much. Thank you to everyone who's listened to us this year. Happy New Year.